You ever get taken by a stripper? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I got well. I went but first time with hookers. I got hookers the first when I was moving to Phoenix. We never knew what. Uh, <laughs> so me and three of my buddies were moving to Phoenix, and we stopped in Albuquerque. Yeah. And we got hookers. We we ordered two hookers for eight hundred dollars. There was four of us. So we each two hundred dollars each, which was a lot. And we and we were we were barely twenty one. So we went and bought condoms and all this was, shit. That is a lot. Yeah. And then these two girls came, came into the room, and it was like uh, they just had the old like a uh, hotel alarm clock radio and they came oh. in we gave them the money and then they they uh they danced for like a minute and and took their tops off so we saw some titties and then before we knew it they were gone you know then they put their shit on but they already had the money and they were gone the greatest hooker story ever heard, you have you I, I i'm not i won't say the comic's name because i don't know if you want to tell the story but he finally <laughs> dude hooker stories in general is one of those was like Maybe I can't say But here's it, the thing. Yeah, but what? So when I started dating this girl in Vegas, because when I lived in Vegas, my boss used to buy us hookers when I would work for the professional gamblers. But you just got to be honest because like on the second date, she was like, have you ever got a hooker? This girl I dated for like three years. And I was like, no. But then you got to ride that lie out for the rest of That's your right. life. Because she'll and then get mad at me if she finds then out. Then your friends bring it up. And I was like, I should have just said yes. But one of my friends, I told him, you know, hookers aren't the, the worst thing. So then he finally got the balls to order a hooker in New York. So he called a hooker and then like a big bodyguard came, like big black bodyguard came to the door first, knocked on the door and was like, hey, you know, the girl's down t downstairs. I just want to go over the rules with you. You're going to treat her with respect. You treat her like, she, you, you know, and gave him all these rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. And, and it was like, I would love to treat her with respect. If you, uh, and if you uh, do anything, just know I'm right downstairs. If you do anything to her, I'll come, I'll be, when she leaves, I'll come down and I'll just fuck you up. And he was like, he, he is so scared because he was first scared to get a hooker. So he's like, yeah, yeah, I promise I'll be on my best behavior. I'll treat respect. And he's like, okay, that'll be $800. And he gave the guy $800. He goes, all right, I'll send her right up. And then of course, oh she my God. just, oh my I was God. like, I thought it was the greatest oh hustle my God. ever. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Be, oh my, and he must be like. Nine times out of town, they're like, no, no, no. I'll send her down with the money. Yeah. We're done. Sure. Obviously, I'd try to fleece well, if you. But this dude didn't know, oh. like, streak. He doesn't, you know. He's it's just one of those where that guy's coming down. He's like, hey, yeah. Jess, we're not yeah, doing yeah. anything today. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would do no that rush. every time. not coming. I would do that every time. It's every just time. like a free shot. But he, the sad part is said he just sat there. And he was like. <laughs> How long did he wait? <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for the knock on the door. And then there's no knock. And he's like, after a while, he's like. Then it hit him like, oh, fuck, they got me, you know. It's that first moment where you're like. Just when it creeps in, you're like waiting, waiting, like nervous, okay? And you're like fixing your stuff and it's like waiting again. It's like, okay, wait, put, you know, put the music on and you're waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's still nothing. And then it's like, uh, oh. Like it must be as soon as like, wait, is he not? Fuck. Yeah. I'd say the one that got me. So I got, when I lived in Vegas, I got hooked on massage parlors because I didn't know how they worked. We didn't, or I guess maybe we had them in Wyoming and I didn't know. So then one day my boss is like, you never got a massage? I was like, no. And he just, me and my buddy gave us $200. He goes, go, it's like middle of the day. So we went in. I'll never forget walking out. I see my buddy just make eye contact. Like, did it happen? He's like, yeah. So then I would, I would just go out and try to get. Was your massage the same as mine? Like, <laughs> yeah. I think so. So I would go out and just try to get girls. And then if I couldn't on the way home, I'd just go to a massage parlor. But then they taught me the game. So a massage is $60 an hour. So you come in with a $100 bill. And then you hand them $100. Tip ahead of time. And then, yeah. So then, so then they take the 60 out. And then they come in. They tell you to lay on the thing. So you lay on the bed. Then they put the 40 on the nightstand over there. So then the massage, you get near your dick. And, and then they'll be like, uh, you know, always, you cop? You cop? No, I'm not a cop. And they'll be like, <laughs> okay, you know, $100. You go, no. And then you just go, you point to the money on the nightstand. Say, no, 40. 40 yeah, yeah, over. right there. You go, that. And they go, no, it was 80. You go, no, that. Go, oh, it was 60. You go, no, it was fucking 40. Just stay strong. And then you, uh, so then you get it, you know, and it's, it's great. I loved it, man. They were so good at it. I always make the joke like Malcolm Gladwell, 10,000 hours. Like they were <laughs> good at it. Put the baby oil on and then they, the my favorite part is then you- Baby oil on your dick? Yeah. So they oh. pull out the baby oil, go to town. And then they, when you come off your stomach, then they bring in this warm, warm cloth. And then a little cup of water, like you get like at the dentist office, cold water and warm cloth, clean you off and then go, right? So I always <laughs> I always just got the hand job. <laughs> but I would get I'd get mad at myself the next day, even though at the time I was making a ton of money working for the gamblers. I had but I still you wake up the next day, you're like, fuck man, I gotta just jerk myself off. That's a hundred dollars, right? So then I would get and I'd go there drunk and then I'd be like I'll make this bitch earn it. I would try so hard not to come, you know? I was like, I'm not just going to so good at it. I'm not gonna let her off the hook. It's like, you got to earn this $100. So one time I went, I was real fucked up, and she's just trying, switching hands. She's like, you too drunk, you too drunk. And I'm like, no, just stay, I'm just go. just thinking about baseball go. hard. Yeah. yeah. So she keeps working, arms are tired. Then she goes, 
uh, you want blowjob? I go, yeah, okay. She goes, $100. I go, okay. So then she pulls out a condom. She gets me kind of hard, and then she puts a condom on, and then she blows just one time down. Just Through like a this. condom? Yeah, with a condom on. But I, I'd had... A ton of hand jobs. No, I, I'd, to- I'd had hookers give me hand, uh, blow jobs with condoms before. That's they kind of make, some of them make you do that. Tijuana was like they put it on with their yeah, mouth. but they were so good I didn't worry. And I was and then of course, I just hate condoms anyway. So the girl puts it on and then she just goes down one time and of course I just get limp <laughs> and then she takes it off. Go you too drunk. So she goes back and just fucking works her ass off. Then I finally come right. So then I <laughs> so then I stand up. <laughs> I stand up. I, her, she brings she brings in the towel and the cup of water, and then you get dressed and they come in and they'll usually walk you out. But I still owed her a hundred dollars technically, so she comes in, and she's like, "You owe a hundred dollars." I go, "No, you didn't even blow me. Nothing happened." And she goes, hundred dollars," and I'm like embarrassed. So I'm looking down at the ground, and this bitch just hauls off and slaps me as <gasps> hard as I can. As she, I've never been hit like this by men in my life like this. What? Because I wasn't even. I was kind of embarrassed, and I was like, "No, I don't owe you." And she hauls off and slaps me so hard, like spit come out of my face, like, and I was like, and then it hurt. Oh, it hurt. Yeah, especially I wasn't even expecting That's it. Just crazy. I've been hit me. by a and, man. It does not hurt. And then I was like, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll go get it. I'll go get it because there's a a casino right next door. I said, okay, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I just ran out the doors, got my car, and left because there's fifty other within a two mile radius. Like, I could never come back. Yeah, back. I could just got blacklisted. For, and I probably could come back. They don't. They, Did you have any intention of actually getting the money? No, no. I was mad I got no.